Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to see if your computer has Bluetooth capabilities. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu, just left click on the Start button one time. Type in Device Manager. Best match should come back with Device Manager right above Control Panel. You want to just left click on that one time. Okay, now that we're in Device Manager here, so you want to look for something that says Bluetooth near the top. It should be in alphabetical descending order. If you saw Bluetooth in here, you just would expand the little arrow on the left side and it'll tell you what the name of the Bluetooth device is. However, if you don't see a Bluetooth device hooked up in here, there's another third-party application we can see if that would be able to perhaps detect the Bluetooth. So we close right there. We're going to open up a web browser. doesn't matter which one, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to open up Google Chrome here. And once you have your web browser open, you want to navigate over to google.com. So you just want to head over to Google. So, and into the Google search, just want to type in Bluetooth version finder and hit enter. One of the best managers should be for a website. This is Bluetooth Version Finder version 1.0. Might be a newer version since this video has come out, but should be from sordum.org. So sordum.org. Want to just left click on that selection. And there's other utilities as well. You can get it from Major Geeks, which is another reputable website that I use. But we can just scroll down here. And they even do suggest using the device manager method that I was kind of going into, but we're going to just use their utility here to see actually locate it. So we scroll down, we see there's a download button. I'm going to just left click on the download one time. Make sure you're not clicking on any advertisements that may be on the page. It's just important just to keep that in mind. You don't want to be downloading something that you're not really coming here to download. So, pretty small file, only about 440 kilobytes. So once that's done downloading, I'm just going to left click on the folder one time. Should be an application here, just double click on it. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. And once it opens up, it should immediately be able to detect if there is a Bluetooth device or not. And if there was one, as you could see in the image from the previous page on their website, just to give you guys an idea of what it would look like if you did have a Bluetooth device, it'd be something along the lines of this image here. So either it'll tell you the Bluetooth device and the signal quality, or it'll just tell you that device not found, like in my case. So pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.